This is the solution to written homework 32. <clears throat> it says find all the second partials. Okay. So to compute the x partial, we'll need to use the product rule. So that's x squared partial, and then exponential 7y plus 5x plus x squared exponential 7y plus 5x partial. So that is 2x exponential 7y plus 5x plus x squared exponential 7y plus 5x times 5. And then I know that we're going to eventually compute the x partial of this again. And if we were to do this again right now, we'd have to use the product rule for this term and the product rule for that term. So I'm going to simplify my life just a little bit <clears throat> and factor out the exponential part and get that this is 2x plus 5x squared exponential 7y plus 5x. And that way when we have to compute the partial again, uh, we'll just need to use one product rule instead of two. The y partial will not need the product rule because there's only one function of y. x is a constant. So x squared exponential of 7y plus 5x multiplied by 7. Okay, those are the first partials. <clears throat> the second partials, so xx, so the x partial of this one, again we'll need to use the product rule, so this would be 2x plus 5x squared partial exponential 7y plus 5x plus 2x plus 5x squared exponential 7y plus 5x <clears throat> partial. So that would be 2 plus 10x and then the exponential part plus <clears throat> 2x plus 5x squared, the exponential again, and then multiplied by 5 for the derivative of 5x. So that's the xx partial. The yy partial <coughs> so we'll compute the y partial of the y partial the y partial of this one. So again, x squared and 7 are constants, so they just uh, hang out. So that's x squared exponential 7y plus 5x multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7. So, the, so this 7 is a result of the chain rule, and this 7 is because it was there in the first place. <coughs> Okay, now the xy. So that means compute the y partial of the x partial. So y partial of x partial. So here's the x partial, and we want to compute the y partial of that. <clears throat> well, the y partial of this, this is just a constant, and this is exponential. That depends on y. So that would be 2x plus 5x squared then multiplied by the exponential part and then multiplied by 7 for the chain rule. So that's xy 
So now we want yx. <clears throat> so now to compute the derivative of this, so yx, that's the x partial of the y partial. Well, notice that this is just 7 multiplied by the original function. It's just 7 multiplied by the original function. So this will be, this will be <coughs> uh, the original function multiplied by 7. and the x partial of that, but we already have the x partial of the original function, that's it right there. So that's 2x plus 5x squared, and then exponential uh, 7y plus 5x, and then this 7 is that 7, and they're the same. <coughs> So the first partials are in red. And the second partials are in green. And of course, you can see that the mixed partials are equal. Okay, so then same, same story now for P. So P sub S of ST. So that would be T squared minus 2TS. P sub t would be 2ts uh, minus s squared. P sub ss is the s partial of the s partial, so this, so negative 2t. P sub tt of st, so the t partial of the t partial would be 2s st, that's the t partial of the s partial, so that would be 2t minus 2s and then the uh, ts that's the s partial of the t partial, so that's 2t minus 2s. And that's the solution to the exercise.